Hey, this is Michelle, and it's another You, Me, Three Saturday, and this month our three items are from Tiffany, and she sent that black and white polka dot napkin, a number seven, and then I think it's like to hang something. I think you attach it to the back of something, and then it can hang. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what it looks like. I'm pretty sure it's vintage, but maybe not. I don't know. Tiffany, you can let us know. So when I pulled out that journal and I saw the the closure, it kind of inspired me to use the little picture hanger as a clasp for a journal. So I'm just using a plain manila file folder and I am ripping it to size and spending way, way, way too much time doing that. Um, so for next month's Yumi three items, I made just like a little folder to put the items in and I decided to use that technique to make this journal. So the only thing I'm doing differently, of course, is making it into a journal, a super fast journal. And um, I'm using, I'm making a little bit of an extra piece so that it can fold over and that will, that's how the closure will work. Anyhow, I'm going to spend way too much time on all of this and um, I'm not going to talk through it all. So um, yeah, I'm going to set this to music and I will pop back in here and there and explain myself, but I'll have all my items listed through my affiliate link um, for Amazon. And remember, if you use it, any, any of those links, I will get a small compensation back. Um, but use what you have. Um, as you can tell, a lot of times I use stuff from thrift stores and um, I'll make it really cheap because I just think it's easier for me to use things that I know aren't precious and I bet other people or I imagine other people are like that too. So that's why I use a lot of things like file folders that I got from the thrift store and sheets that I'll rip up that look like sari ribbon because sheets are like a dollar at the thrift store and if you just take them home and wash them in hot water they rip up and make the best ribbons and it's so much cheaper for it's much cheaper than material so that's my tip I've been doing it for years and um yeah oh and one thing I want to say is as you watch me do this I know I'm probably giving some people with like I don't know OCD some serious anxiety and you don't have to do this you can use a cookie sheet or a tray or whatever you have um and if you look back at some of my first videos, I would never have done this. I, I think um, my friendship with Tiffany has brought out my, I'll say inner messy girl, or <laughs> it's probably more like, I don't know, I, I have paint on everything. You'll see it splashed up on my arms. I never used to be this way, I promise, but I am a full-fledged sloppy messy girl here. Um, so anyhow, sorry if this gives you anxiety, you do not have to be this this much of a slab when you do it, but this is, this is what I did. And it kind of gives like a marbled effect. And if I had used more paint, it would have worked a lot better, but I wanted it to remain in frame and I already made a big enough mess as it was. So anyhow, now I'm going to set it to music. <laughs> Like a light lighting up in the dark You make it right, I forgot how to act It's so classic Every time you make me nervous and I lose my words It's been a while since I forgot the most simple words
Okay, y'all. So I went ahead and got the part that I was dreading the most out of the way first, and that's that black and white napkin. Um, And I'll admit it doesn't look that great right now, but I think in the end it kind of, I think it kind of works in the end, at least. I'm okay with it in the end. Um, So anyhow, I just used Collage Podge, and the one thing I do like about napkins is that if you make a mistake and pull it a little bit, you can just easily take another little chunk of napkin and put it in that spot, and it it blends really well. So I do like that. Um, anyhow, I just put a lot of collage posh on the on underneath, and then a whole lot on top, and used my used my heat gun to dry it because I have no patience. And then all those little papers that I made. See, it's fun. It's really super messy, but it's fun just to just to play. And um, they're kind of color coordinated. I added a couple more colors just to, um, I don't know, just to bring in some, some more. Anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and use the sewing machine to sew. Mainly what that's for is to sew the little pockets in place, but, um, it kind of works. It adds a little bit of, adds a little messy threads and I like that. So then I just took it over and, um, sewed the, sewed our papers in and, Y'all, I was such a mess this time. I'm not even kidding you. I lost the number seven several times. I lost that picture hanger several times. I spilled water on the napkin and had to wait. Actually, it was watered down paint and had to wait for it to dry. I, I'm telling you, I'm like taking this whole messy slob to a whole new level. So anyhow, I couldn't find, it's probably right there in the frame too. I couldn't find the heavy gel. So I used that tacky glue and it worked just fine. Actually, it worked really well. Um, so I'm just adhering those down together. I'm going to put some more music back on and again, I'll pop back in.
So when I saw the seven, I don't know, my, my mind always goes to music lyrics and I kept thinking of all these songs like um, Seven by Prince and Seven Things I Hate About You by Miley Cyrus and Seven Nation Army. Um, so I don't know why, but that just kept popping in my head. And then Seven Deadly Sins. So Seven is like referenced a lot in a lot of things. So, um, but then I thought, you know, you use a journal to art in and art seven days a week. So that's where, <laughs> that's where that came from. I have no idea why, who can explain why our minds go where they go, but that's what I came up with. And I put the polka dots on the seven two to kind of tie in with the spine. And, um, I have um, quite a few of these little dollar stamp alphabet stamp sets and you can't find them anymore. So I kind of wish I had gotten more, but you know, that's the hoarder in me. So I'm just typing out the days a week and I'm going to fuss around with that and how I'm going to lay it out. And this is pretty much, I'm pretty much done with everything. Um, so I made this little, this little folder file, whatever you want to call it. And, um, I was going to give it away in the little pockets. I'll put some ephemera and then I'm also going to include, um, next month's you, me, same three items. So if you don't have one and you wanted to play and now's your time to do it, all you have to do is, um, subscribe to Tiffany and I both subscribe to both of our channels and then leave me a comment. And I'm going to see if people are listening because all you have to do is comment that you'd like to be entered for a chance to win, but for a bonus entry. All I want for a comment, my whole point in telling you about the music thing is um, I'm just going to make it fun and tell me your favorite misheard lyric. Um, so I have like a really embarrassing one that I'm, I'm not going to share because it's embarrassing. I mean, I was little, so I didn't know that it was gross when I, mis when I misheard, but um, my sister told me and tells me all the time still. She won't let me live it down. So, um, And then... I don't know. We used to watch Will and Grace all the time. And um, do you remember the song Tiny Dancer by Elton John? And I can't remember. One of the characters thought that it was Hold Me Closer, Tony Danza. And <laughs> He was a big, big actor in the 80s. And so anytime my sister and I hear that song, it's always Tony Danza. And I don't know. Messed up lyrics always make me laugh. Um, my niece thought the song Every Time You Go Away, You Take a Piece of Me With You was You Take a Piece of Meat With You, which... I don't know. I just think that's, I love that. So tell me your favorite misheard lyric. I don't care if it's one that you did or one that you heard somebody else did. And, and I'll draw the name on April 3rd. And um, this is open to everywhere. The only thing I'll say is um, you might not get it in time if it's an international posting. So I'm not sure how the mail is doing for that right now, but you might not get it in time, but um that's okay too. You'll still have it. Anyhow, I hope everyone has a great weekend and I am going to wrap this up. There is some stills at the very end. And um, one last thing I'm going to do is I wanted to brighten up just the edge a little bit, the ready tattered edge. So I'm going to take a chalk pastel and kind of go along that. And then I'm done and I'll have some stills at the very end. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out all the other videos and posts that we have, I'll have those and Tiffany's linked below in the description box. Thank you so much again for watching. Bye.